I put my Toyota 4Runner through a lot. Rocks, children, mud, precious little dogs, and more rocks. Because of the lift and larger tires, my 4Runner is also at risk from catalytic converter theft, from sassy sawzall wielding thieves. <laughs> Today we'll be comparing two very popular catalytic converter shields from MillerCat. And I'll tell you which I think is best for you depending on what you do with your vehicle. Especially, we're gonna highlight the new heavy duty version, which is this guy right here, that also doubles as a legit skid plate. Thanks to MillerCat for sending me these shields to make this video. They aren't paying me or reviewing this video before you see it. But spoilers, I think these are great, otherwise I wouldn't even be covering them. And if you're interested in getting one for yourself, I have a 5% off discount code down in the description. These are the two shield options we're going to be covering today. In case you didn't know, MillerCat designs and manufactures all of their shields in the United States. They make them for most Toyota and Lexus vehicles, along with some Hondas, Fords, and the Nissan Frontier. Material-wise, they're all made out of either aluminum or 304 stainless steel, like both of my options here, so they have awesome corrosion resistance. I removed the standard shield I've had under the 4Runner for over eight months cleaned it up, and then assembled the new heavy-duty shield. I'll cover the installation soon. If you want even more detail than I go into today, check out my original install video linked below. By the way, a cat shield is one of the easiest forerunner additions I've done. Very DIY friendly. The thickness and steel between these two is quite noticeable. I mean, you just knock on it here. You know, eh. ouch. <laughs> and you can definitely tell the weight difference when you pick them up. Standard shield weighs about 13 pounds. HD shield weighs about 18 pounds. Another difference between the standard and heavy duty version is the hardware. On both, they're stainless steel, nice good stuff, but on the standard version, you just have them protruding from the surface here, and on these, they're countersunk. So if you were to hit one of these on a rock, this one would likely not damage the hardware, and on this, you risk maybe breaking the heads off of one of these bolts. FYI, you can get the 16-gauge standard version of the shield for foreigners with KDSS, the X-Rays suspension, or without KDSS, like my Forerunner. The HD shield, only available for foreigners like mine without KDSS and that other one I can't pronounce very well. <laughs> so how do these guys hold up under abuse? So taking a closer look at my standard version that's been under my Forerunner until only a few minutes ago, went outside, cleaned it off. It looks pretty darn good. I know that it has had several impacts. We have, uh, you know, we have marks and things from branches and gravel, things like that. But as you can see, the finish is good. We have a little bit of surface rust uh, for where it was uh, touching those crossbars but probably with some buffing, I could get that out. The only negative I'm gonna say about this is it does have a tendency to vibrate, I've noticed. Also, <laughs> one thing I'll say about both of them, uh, you can get gravel stuck underneath, which is for any skid plate in the world, and sometimes you can hear them rattling, and, and, but these, these cooling vents do allow some gravel to come out, but also sometimes it just gets stuck. Now with the heavy duty version, this one's brand new, so I can't really say how well it holds up right. Well, actually I can, because I have a heavy duty shield from MillerCat on my Toyota Tacoma. What I've loved about this one compared to what's been on the 4Runner so far is that this one just doesn't rattle. Occasionally when you're off-roading and something kind of rattles against this, I will hear the, uh, the side uh, section here hit uh, these uh, upper catalytic converters, but you have to really hit it before it makes any impact at all. Yeah, you can hear that noise sometimes. So, been very happy, very happy with this. I don't think this has definitely uh, in impacted any rocks in my, in my travels uh, recently. It just looks like branches and gravel have been touching this, so. This has held up well, but I don't know. It might look too good. Holy crap, okay, let's do it again. I am not denting this at all. <laughs> I'm getting gravel out though. Let's install the HD Shield in the foreigner right now, and then I'll give you my final recommendation on which I think you should get. First, remove the center engine skid plate. You can leave the front one in place. You'll also need to remove these two crossbars held on by four 12 millimeter bolts. The shield then slides into place with the bent edge resting on top of the cross member. Reinstall the crossbars in the rear using MillerCat's provided tamper-proof hardware. 
I'd personally recommend using copper anti-seize on all of these bolts. Secure the front of the shield to the crossmember using the extra long screws and those giant washers. Reinstall the center skid plate and you're done. So which shield would I recommend for your foreigner? First, I would say both of them are reasonably priced considering they're made of 304 stainless steel in the USA. Now for me, for the extra $100, if you do moderate off-roading or overlanding trips, I would personally go with the heavy duty version for the extra peace of mind. But the standard steel version is still great, especially for light off-road use. And up till now, I have been very happy with it. And by the way, if your foreigner is like a dedicated rock crawler, then go with just like a full like steel skid plate, like front to back setup instead of, instead of these. But I would say these are great options for 99% of you out there. So let me know in the comments if you agree. And until next time, God bless and don't forget to do it yourself.